Maybe this is sandstone with wood, winter wood. Who knows? Who knows? It's not, it's winter wood sandstone. I, wow, wow, wow. That is a lot of pottery. What do you think? How's the, how do I look? How about now? Is this very dramatic? How do I sound? Do I sound good? Do I look good? I have no idea if this is good or not. My face over here looks really, really dark. Okay, so this is future John talking. I was just inside editing this video, and yes, it's a really long video, but some super cool pottery comes out, and I just wanted to like forewarn you that the audio is still not where I want it to be. The echo is not great. Like, there's a little bit of an echo. I think it's gotten a lot better than it was right away as we filled the studio up. I just wanted to let you know that I know the echo isn't that great. I'm working on it and I wanna get it to be better. And I will, I promise. Okay, back to the past, John. What is up, guys? Welcome back to another pottery video. I am John the Potter and it is so good to have you in my studio today. So fun, I'm having so much fun in the studio. We have a completely full kiln. So we're gonna try the kiln unloading this way where I grab it from the kilns and bring it out here and show it to you and then set it on this table. So kind of similar to how we used to do the kiln unloadings in the old studio, but uh, new studio style. So the first kiln unloading we did in there and I was mediocrely happy with the uh, setting. Guys, it's the studio, Woo! it's a dream. It's like a dream working in here. Here, let's just show you what I've been working on real quick. So this is the real good background over there, but all that stuff right there, it's all coming. It's all coming. But we have both kilns full right now of glazed pottery. And one of the kilns might be slightly underfired because it had an error that it was getting too hot because that room was getting really hot. So still got to figure out some stuff for that. It does have an exhaust fan in it, but both kilns were hot at the same time, which maybe that's not the best idea. I want to say shout out to our sponsor, Mako Colors. You're going to see a bunch of Mako glazes in this video, uh, and I'm going to see them too for the first time. So last kiln unloading, I had a bunch of just the single colors, but now I'm starting to combo them together. So if I know what it is off the top of my head, then I will tell you. If not, then I may put it in like down below to just tell you what it is, like what two combos they are. So, shout out to Mako. I'm having so much fun playing with all those glazes. My goal is to find a bunch of sweet colors and combinations, share them with you, so you guys can go, if you find something that you really love, hopefully you can replicate it at home. Boo! I'm talking really, really fast, but I know I have two full kilns to unload, so this video is gonna be a bang and long one. Let's do it! Okay, first thing, if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen a couple of these. First things that we got out. This is just a cup in blue splatterware. There is, this is that marbled clay with, I think it's green, bright green gloss over blue splatterware. Yup, that turned out pretty sweet. Here's the copper ore over sandstone. Like, I, this is gonna take forever if I say all the combos, so I think I'm just gonna list them later. You can't really even see that very well. I, mean, I, think, I think I need some better lights. This is just the midnight rain glaze. Really, very cool. There we go. There's some better light for ya. All right, so there's something. All right. Let's do it, let's do it. Something drippy with mirror black, because that's super mirror-y. That inside of that is really cool. Oh yeah, there you go. Boom. This is a combination with bright green gloss, I think over mirror black. Here's another, I used mirror black a lot on the top of there. And then here's fool's gold over galaxy, which I've been told now that you need to pour the galaxy instead of dip it, because then you get the crystals and stuff on there. So I got some stuff that like that in there too. And what we have a bunch in here, which I should save this for the video that I'm gonna do about it, is these tiles for this tile, tile backsplash. But I'm gonna do a whole video about making a tile for this tile backsplash for over there. And it's gonna be sweet. There's a lot, a lot of stuff in this kiln because 
there's so much little flat stuff like all these Minnesotas with trees. These are just ornaments. I know, it's not even Christmas time, right? John, what are you doing? You don't do things like months in advance. Oh yeah, these were, in the first kiln unloading I did, I didn't use some of these other glazes that they sent me right away. So like blue surf, Norse blue, sandstone, which sandstone is amazing. Sea salt, green opal, and aurora green. Those are the, those are them. Bunch more tiles, green, that's bright green gloss. This is fool's gold. Minnesota's blue splatterware. How, if you're a potter and you deal with tiles, plates, things that warp often, how do you combat that? How do you combat the um, the warping situation? I, I mean, I know warping is caused by when you things dry unevenly, um, but I'm wondering if you have any specific tips for me. So let me know. These tiles look sweet. These are mirror, mirror black tiles. So these are just like, I mean, I'm not, there are a lot of tiles in here, but I'm still kind of just testing and like, I mean, I'll definitely be using them in, in the wall for sure. Oh, sweet! Here's a couple. So my mom asked me to make her some crosses. So that's cool. So those were pretty simple. These are these Norse blue, um, and then I think sandstone or sea salt is under, I can't remember which one. And I'm an idiot, so I didn't write anything down. But this is also, it's on bee clay, so it's like bee clay from continental clay, which is a little bit more like porcelain. It's like a porcelain stoneware mix, so. This is gonna be the longest kiln opening ever. Sandstone on a plate for a planter. Diamond tiles. That copper ore is so dope. So dope. So then this is the galaxy that has the actual crystals, what it's supposed to have. Starting to get it there a little bit. And then a bunch of Minnesota's ornaments. Wow, I made way too many ornaments for it being June. Look at all these ornaments. Uh, plates for planters, because I, I think I have the planters in there. That is like, is that amazing? That's just one glaze. EC really wanted like a red, reddish tile. And so this is the soft red mat underneath the galaxy. Look at this little planter. This thing turned out really good. Look at that. Woo! So maybe that would go on there. I don't think I can give that one away. I think I gotta keep that one for myself. And then here's another set of these bowls, but these have that blue surf on them. So these are the same, same size shape as these, just blue surf with sandstone underneath. Sandstone or sea salt? I don't know. It's one of the two. All right, so there's Minnesota mug in the sandstone, straight up stance sandstone. That is something. That is something. And then here's a planter. So I looped over the top lip and then that'll sit on one of these. Just like, I made a bunch of these little tumblers just to kind of use as testers. And then there's a mug. This is that marbled clay with a dripper so it drips right in those carvings. That's cool. That is another planter, so it's got a hole in the bottom. Norse blue on top, sandstone on the bottom. This is Norse blue on top, sandstone on the bottom. Oh, and then I got a bunch of marbling, bunch of marbled, marbled pots out. That's cool. Those cups, these will sell quickly at Mocha Monkey. Starting to get those little drips in there. There's another marbled one. There's another marbled one. Cool. Those look good. All right, and then this is another, Another planter with stance on the bottom, blue surf on top. That's one of my favorite combos from them so far is that blue surf over sandstone. And then we got some Canyon Skies cups, one of which is for Elaine Adams on the Kickstarter. She probably sent her this one. This one's nice. Nice, nice. Got some more Canyon Skies cups. All right, so that is one kiln, right? Holy smokers. So, we have a second kiln that we're gonna open. We're gonna open that. Here, I'll show you. So here's all the pots and tiles. So then, we got, we're gonna go in the kiln room right now. So we just unloaded this whole kiln, and now we're gonna unload this whole kiln. Ready? 
And this is the one that might've gotten a little under fired, uh, but I'm not sure yet. So we will have to diagnose and see. So, you know, if you have to pause the video, go take a bathroom break, go get some food, do whatever you need to, and then come back and finish the video. That's fine with me. I'll, I'll be here waiting. Don't worry about me. So far, what do you think? What do you, th what do you think of everything that's coming out? What do you think of all those new Mako glazes? All right, ready for kiln number two. This is not gonna be very common. I will not often do two kilns at the same time. So we got these mugs, which look really nice in the Norse blue. And then we also have these mugs too, which are Minnesota mugs, which is, are in that Norse blue. But the difference between those two, so can you see, oh, I don't wanna show you that one. That one had a little craze going on there or something. Do those, how, do the, how similar do those look to you? This is the same glaze as this. It's on dark iron stoneware instead of buff stoneware. So the clay makes a difference in color for show. Here's another marbled piece with winter wood as the glaze. Here's that, here's a planter, bright green gloss planter. There's Minnesota with the winter wood. That winter wood and the sandstone kind of are similar. Pretty dang good though, I like it. And then these, bright green with, is it winter wood or? I can't remember what's around the top. But those are, those are gonna stand out on the shelves at Mocha. Those are not typical, not typical JTP style. Another planter, another planter. This one is, this one's pretty cool. I like this a lot. This is a planter, very nice. Winter wood, something else. I cannot remember what it is. See that? I just cut myself. I just cut myself on something in the kiln. And then we got, we just got some muffins. So at Mocha Monkey, we serve everything out of handmade pottery. If you've watched this channel, you obviously know that. But these are just muffin bowls. So they just have like a little bit of a shape to them so that you can get a fork in there, you can get your fingers in there. And so basically this is a, the floating blue that I have that I used to use all the time, which is really nice. A bunch of muffin cups in there that I just used as like testers for different stuff. So, here is that Galaxy. I cannot get that gal a Galaxy to work. I mean, it's cool. It turned out very nice. I gotta get some of the more of those crystals in there, I think. And then this must be Aurora Green. So I'm pretty sure I did sandstone around the edge for everything. So that's sandstone with Aurora Green, which is nice. There's a big sandstone planter. This is, uh, I believe this is sandstone around the edge and then sea salt. My brain is like exploding with all the combinations and possibilities in front of me. Like I have basically boiled it down to like six glazes that I used for like seven years. Ow. And now I have like an unlimited amount of glazes to use. And it's like super fun on the one hand and it's super overwhelming on the other hand. But I definitely lean more on the super fun side. Here's the sandstone with, is it green opal over the top? Must be green opal. So this is a buttercream. I moved my glazes here and I, buttercream and matte white look super similar to each other. And I couldn't, I didn't know which one was which. So I had to glaze something and fire it so I knew it was which. Another sandstone plate. I'm not super pumped on sea salt yet. Like everybody was kind of talking like, oh, sea salt, sea salt, sea salt, so good. But I'm not, I haven't found the right thing yet. There's the galaxy over soft matte, super cool. I, th I don't know if I'm a huge fan of like how that looks for, against that, but the inside of those, if you can see that is like really dope. Write things down people, write them down. Cause I, that is really, really cool. I love it. This sandstone, what is so unique about it is it gives it a feeling of like a wood fire cone 10 but it, you get it out in cone six, electric. Wow, yeah, especially this copper ore over sandstone is what this one is. Planters, muffin bowls, sandstone under bright blue, blue gloss. I think Easy's home. Maybe she'll come in here and grace us with her presence. This one's cool. It's a planter. Whew, I'm gonna need to just like sit down and like, this is, wow, 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 wow. Okay, 
Bright blue gloss with sandstone underneath, probably. Maybe this is sandstone with wood, winter wood. Who knows? Who knows? It's not, it's winter wood, sandstone. I have... All right, friends. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is a lot of pottery. A lot of new stuff, a lot of old stuff, a lot of good stuff. So if you're still here, I commend you for that. Thanks so much for watching to the end. It's really fun. If you wanna check out Mako and all their glazes and all the stuff they're doing for ceramics and pottery in general, check out the link in the description below. Makoproducts.com slash John the Potter or something like that. Otherwise, we got a bunch of sweet videos coming. Tile backsplash, how to do that. I'm excited to show you guys how to do that one. I'm making some, some pavers, some uh, ceramic pavers to, for, as like stepping stones. I'm excited for that one, plus tons more on all the glazes and combos and making fun pottery. Appreciate you stopping by my studio. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Like, share, comment. Follow me on Instagram at johnschmidtpottery.com. .com. It's not .com, it's just at John Schmidt Pottery. Uh, we have a Patreon page if you want to support us over there. We send out pottery every month. We're sending out four pieces because we have over 75 now. Woo! All right, that's it. I'm done. I'm done, I'm done. Now I have to just go through all this pottery and figure out what to do with it. Woo! See you in the next video.